What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we're going to go through the road to the gold medal for Daniel Medvedev, the world number two. And he loves playing on hard courts. We are playing on hard courts in Tokyo for the first time since March. So it's been a long, long time since we've seen Medvedev on a hard court. Got to the Australian Open final this year. So how far can he go in Tokyo in a best of three set match? Let's go start with who he's playing in the first round. So Daniel Medvedev, he starts his campaign as the number two seed against Bublik. Now he has played Bublik a couple of times. One of those times being a couple of weeks ago at the French Open. So he has some recent form against this guy. And Medvedev has a 2-0 head-to-head record against Bublik. The only time they played on a hard court though, all the way back in 2016 with Medvedev getting a straight sets win in St. Petersburg in front of his Russian crowd. So you would expect that Medvedev on a hard court should get through his first round match against Bublik, but it's not going to be easy. His second round matchup is most likely going to be the veteran Istomin. So it would be a very interesting matchup because they actually have played on a futures tournament. So a very low tier tournament back in 2016. Istomin got the win there in straight sets, but it's a different story now. 2016, we're in 2021. Medvedev's a way different player than what he was back then. So it's it's going to be a tough match if he is going to replicate that win that he got against Medvedev five years ago. If Medvedev does make it to the third round, he'll be taking on the world number 31, Fabio Fanini, who's coming in here as the 15th seed. So he's got a very high seeding in this one. Despite his ranking, it's not like great. Hasn't had a great 2021, Fabio. However, these two have played four times before with Medvedev leading the head-to-head 3-1. -head the last time they actually played was on a hard court back at the ATP Cup last year with Medvedev getting a three-set win. Now, that's very important because this tournament is best of three, and this tournament is about representing your country, just like the ATP Cup. So you've got to watch out for Fabio because Fanini is one of those players that when he's playing for Italy, he gets really fired up and really charged up. So Medvedev's got to be careful here that he's not playing against a fired-up Fabio because there could be an upset on the cards. So Medvedev, very tough third round if he does play Fanini. Into the quarterfinals now and most likely going to play by the seedings, Karina Busta, the number six seed, currently the world number 12 and in form because he just won in Hamburg a couple of weeks ago. The ATP 5 100 event, which is a huge event for the clay court season. Fortunately, this is not a clay court event, so Karina Busta maybe can't convert that onto the hard courts, but he did make the US Open semifinals last year, so Karina Busta does like playing on hard courts. These two have actually played four times before with Medvedev leading the head to head 3 1 and 2 1 on hard courts. So you'd expect if they do play in the quarterfinals, Medvedev should get the win, but again, Karina Busta, he doesn't mind playing on the hard courts. In best of three sets, we know anything can happen. Going into the semifinals now, and the most likely opponent for Medvedev is Stefano Tsitsipas, the world number four. Now, these two have played a lot of times before, eight times, in fact, and Medvedev has a commanding lead, 6-2 against Tsitsipas. Now, Tsitsipas did get their win the last time they played. That was at the French Open this year. That was a clay court event. Medvedev, however, won their last hard court matchup, which was at the Australian Open earlier this year, and he won in straight sets. Pretty convincing as well so this is a hard court event you'd expect Medvedev to have the edge over City Pass in that semi-final getting to the gold medal match now and the most likely scenario is that Medvedev will take on world number one Novak Djokovic in that gold medal final now Djokovic does lead the head-to-head 5-3 against Medvedev and they played at the Australian Open final of course with Medvedev barely getting any shots back from Djokovic Djokovic was playing amazing in that final However, at the end of last year, Medvedev did get the win in straight sets in their last best of three set match. That was at the ATB Finals. It was a straight sets win to Medvedev back then. So this is best of three. So you've got to give Medvedev a chance against Djokovic, especially on a hard court. But it's not going to be easy. But if Medvedev can do it, he'll win the gold medal for his country. So there it is. There is the road to the title, the road to the gold medal for Daniel Medvedev. Let me know down in the comments below. How far can Medvedev go? I think he can win a medal. I don't know if he can win the gold medal, but he can probably easily win the bronze or the silver medal because he does like playing on hard courts. One of the best hard court players going around. So I'm interested to see how Medvedev does. Has a tough road ahead though. The first couple of matches are going to be tough, but if he can get on a roll, Medvedev, we know he loves playing on the hard courts. And then who knows? He could play Djokovic in that final and maybe, maybe cause the biggest upset of the year in that final and stop the Golden Grand Slam. But let me know down in the comments below how far Medvedev can go and who's his biggest threat. Daniel Medvedev loves playing on the hard courts and it's the best of three sets. Who knows what could happen?